Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to fold Salt Creek Tiger Beetle designed by Robert Lang for Professor Leon Heigley who is the world expert in this kind of tiger beetles. I got this information from Robert Lang's website. So it was designed for commission. Um, this is going to be another uh, special tutorial as the last one I made which was a tutorial for uh, Utisanis Beetle by Swapnik Jagarlapudi so that means I'll show you actually how to read crease patterns so we're going to figure out the crease pattern together so I'm not just going to show you fold here, fold here so it's going to be a special tutorial um, the crease pattern for this model looks like this and I think we should uh, begin with tutorial now okay so when you look at the crease pattern, first thing you know is, is that uh, the lines are based on 45. Uh, they are based on 45 degrees, so that means the crease pattern is box splitted because we can also see the like a part of the grid. Um, so now that we know that the crease pattern is box splitted, we know that every box splitted model is based on the grid. So that is the first thing we need to figure out on what grid is this uh, model based. So the easiest way to do this is just to count units. Simple as that. Okay, so we know that um, symmetry line is here. So now we just need to count units. So I'm not going to count 1, 2, but I'm going to count 2, 4, 6 and so on. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So, uh, this the half of the grid is 24, so that means the whole grid is, uh, is 48 by 48. Okay, so the first thing we need to figure out is how to fold that grid. Uh, so the simplest way to do this is just to divide the number in half and in half till you get uh, the, sm the smallest number. Well, you can't really get... well, I'll explain. So, divide 48 in half, so we get 24, no, 24 in half, so we get uh, 12, and uh, 12 in half, we get 6, and then 6 in half, and we get three and now if we divide three and a half we'll get 1.5 but that's not the whole number so the 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 tree is the smallest division so we that means we have to divide paper in three by three grid first and then divide each section in half and half half until we get 48 so that's what we are going to do now we are going to start um, actually actual folding now before we we start folding and all that this is uh, actually a really complex crisp pattern it might not look so because it looks pretty much straight pretty straight straightforward but it's actually quite complex because of a um, few things here in the middle that look normal but um, the Robert Lang found, I mean, uh, use these things in a really unique way to achieve something else. So he manipulated one uh, those, I can call those atoms, and um, yeah, it's just brilliant. So that's hard. What's hard in this model? I know you probably have no idea what I'm talking about now, but when we start collapsing, you'll understand. Okay, so the um, paper. <laughs> you have to use so here is the paper I'm going to use as you can see it's quite big uh, if I remember correctly it's 53 by 53 centimeters um, I don't know, it's the biggest paper size I could get from the paper head so uh, I think this, well you can use pretty small paper to fold this but I really recommend for the first try to use 48 or you can use 50, it's going to be a little bit easier well, because 50 is not a rounded number like so yeah, you. I think you should use 50 centimeters to fold a small um, 
Now the paper I'm using is Green and White Craft. Uh, you probably remember this paper from my tutorials, like tutorial for this. Um, so this paper is going to be kind of thick for shaping. So I'm going to show you how to fold the base with the craft paper and then later use the um, probably this kind of paper. Oh not this one. This kind of paper. Uh, which is so uh, I don't know, mulberry rice paper, under you, something like that. Or maybe uh, this kind of paper which is a reugin paper. Uh, it's a tissue, so I'm probably going to use that. So now that we know, oh, okay, so now let's start folding. So first of all, fold the paper. Oh, well, actually, uh, first go on the colored side, not on the, the white side. Um, yeah, okay. So fold the paper diagonally in half like this. As you can see, I already have these creases, but do it. I'll do it in any way. Okay. And now, uh, here you, again, you need to fold in half like this, but uh, you can just pinch this part here. But we're going to crease, have a crease there anyway, so I think you can make a whole crease, but. Uh, I mean, I already have the whole crease, but if you pinch this part, I think it's going to be easier, I don't know, to... not to get lost while making the grid, so... Anyways, I'm just going to make a full crease, but you can pinch if you, if you like. Okay. Unfold. And now we're going to make a diagonal line uh, and it goes from this point to this bottom right corner. I explain this in almost every tutorial. So I just pinch this part and then slide the paper till I hit this corner. Okay, just a little bit higher up. There we go, perfect. Now, if you are, if you're not able to get like a really nice crease like this, uh, and I was able to get really precise crease, so uh, you don't need to crease everything. You can just crease this part here. Uh, here is the diagonal, so you just need to actually crease this part. But uh, if you try this many times, then um, Never mind, just crease that part. Crease th those things lightly and a really sharp crease here. So now this intersection here is... Well, actually, let's f it's one third. So now we're going to make the line that's, that goes from that point to the left, to the right, and it's perpendicular to the side. So you're just going to fold this up and then find where is this intersection. Uh, pinch that part and then uh, align this edge with, well, this side with this side. This and then just make a straight crease here. Now if your paper is perfect, these two sides will align automatically. Okay, now unfold, rotate the paper and now fold this edge to this crease. this okay and now we are going to rotate the paper like this first let's fold the paper in half because we'll make that crease later anyways when we divide in six okay Okay, and now we're going to fold that one third. So, fold this up 
find where the intersection is. Pinch that part and then the line. I don't know, you can also line this part, but this one is closer to the intersection. I mean this side. So just align two edges and make a crease like that. You can also use this part here as a reference because we have the line here and then uh, there's an intersection between those two creases. So that's also one third. So you can also use that as a reference now. Okay, unfold. Now rotate the paper and uh, now hold this edge to here. I think I can put the crisp pen away since we are not going to use it for quite a while I think because we need to fold the grid and pre crease the paper. So unfold that and uh, I'm going to zoom in if needed. Well actually I don't need to. So now we have three by three grids. So one, two, three. And now we are going to divide it six. So then now fold this edge to this line. This now I'm going to rotate the paper like this and then pull the edge to the one third again. Okay, rotate again and do the same thing and Unfold and uh, the last crease here. Okay, so now we have six by six grid. Now we'll get twelve by twelve. So I'll fold this edge to here. Okay, unfold. And now we're going to fold this edge to this line here. So that's exactly the top of the paper. Unfold. Now fold this edge to this line. Okay, so now you're going to rotate and repeat the same process again three times. So I'm just going to do this a little bit faster.
Okay, so now we have 12 by 12 grid. So now we'll divide each section in half to get 24. So hold this edge to this crease. And then this edge to this crease. Now this edge to... Well, it doesn't really matter what crease, you can see you need a crease there. So just pull approximately like this and you just see uh, with what piece you can align, align your edge. And then this crease. So if you have paper like this, uh, you always smooth two units higher. So one, two. That means you have to fold to here. Like that. And then to here. Okay. Uh, so now repeat the paper like this and then repeat the same process again three times. Okay, sorry, I had to drink water.
Okay, so that's the last piece. Okay, so now we have 24 by 24 grid. So now you're going to turn around on the white side and do this. Okay, so make the mount and fold along this first crease and fold it to the this crease. this edge to here so basically we'll divide every single unit into half again okay so now make a want to put here and then pull it to this crease now you can't really go like this all the way so when paper gets thick well, all really thick that you can't make creases. Just uh, unfold everything and then we do it the normal way. You know, since craft is pretty thick paper. Um, and that will happen really soon. But if you're using, I don't know, um, this kind of paper that I'm probably going to use for a shaping tutorial then uh, you can do this really a lot many times I don't know if, if you know, this small I mean if the base turns out to be really thick and not that thick I might use it in craft for the tutorial uh, we'll see hopefully <laughs> we can fold the base It's really thick, so you have to unfold like that, and then do it normally. This is what I meant by normal way.
Okay, now for this last piece, I just rotate the paper and then do it this way. Okay, so now we have 24 by 48. So now just rotate the paper on this or on this side and repeat the whole process again. I know this is painting really nice. Okay, I'll try to do this one more time. The paper is like super thick. And now let's unfold and see how much paper we have. Oh. Okay.
crease left and we will finally be done with this. Okay, that took a while to do. So, yeah, we are done with 48 before the 8th grade. Now, if you think that this is hard, try making Illusion 3.5, you need to do this, everything again, and then you'll get 96 by 96 grade. And now I've just figured out that I already had 40, actually 96 by 96 grade folded on one meter, so I could have cut paper in four different parts and already have the grid for the tutorial but uh, anyways I might finish that tradition once anyways so now this is the time when the crisp pattern comes in so hi crisp pattern um, so we need to break raise the creases uh, I'm going to draw the creases on the colored side on the paper and then um, you don't need to do that, uh, but uh, this is just for tutorial purposes. So, let's start. So, first of all, choose where you want to start, what, what is going to be your head. So, if I'm looking at, if you look at the cruise pattern here, this is going to be head, and then here is abdomen, and all that. Here's the belly. And I'm going to choose, uh, I don't know, this to be my head because I can easily see the, or no, well, I'll choose this side, well, it doesn't really matter, but perhaps sometimes you have, like, uh, you cut, um, anyways, I'll choose this side, and now let's look at the crisp pad. Okay. So as you can see here, um, you count two units, one, two, and then you draw this um, 45 degree line that goes two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen units to the right, and it goes up. So let me just check that again. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so, so let's do it. So, so we count. Oops. Oh, I would really like to see it, but I can't. <laughs> Okay, so we count the units up, one, two, so here, and then from this point, draw the line that's uh, those 15 units up, so let's do it. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So, four, six. Okay, now, if you look at the crisp pattern here, from where the line ends, we have another line that comes from the same point and goes three units to the right. So, 
so like this. Okay, and then goes five units down. Okay, like that. And then goes two, four, six units down. Two, four, six, and then we have a few like a zigzag lines. Left, right, and then left again. Okay. So we have something like that. Now let's repeat the same thing here. So count two units. I'm not going to zoom in this time. Like this. So one, two. And then I'll make a line that's 50 units. 15. Now if you see my hair in the tutorial, sorry about that. Because I need to count those units nicely. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Well actually you can use this line as a reference. Just go up here and then you know that it should end there. Okay, so then we have three units down, and then five down, so like that, and then six down. Few zigzag lines. Okay, so something like that. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can see here. We go in two units to the left from this point, and then draw this line, and then draw the rest from that point. So, from this point count two units. So we are here, and then draw a line that goes two units down like this. Goes four units up. Like this, and then goes three units up from this point. So, one, two, three. Okay. So, and that's exactly the symmetry line. Cool. So, here, three, and then we have down, well up actually two units, like this, and uh, two units again, again, <laughs> and then we have uh, four units up, just like this, okay. I guess we can finish this line. So we have two again. And then finally some different number one. And then again one. And uh, like that. And then we have three units up. Like this. And then two, 
And then we feel we should have five minutes. Three to five. Okay, great. So we did everything correctly. It's good if you look at the crisp pattern. At the same time, okay. So as you can see, we have pretty long line here. <laughs> pretty much pretty crisp. Most a lot of most of the crisp pattern. Well, not yet. Now we'll just continue here. So from this point. You just draw the line like this. I don't know how long it is. I mean, you just draw a 45 degree line and when it hits edge, that's how long it should be. Okay. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Great. Okay, now. Um, I guess we can break the whole half now. I'll do a few more lines. And, well, okay, I'll do uh, three, okay, a few more lines. So now, here, where this ends, count the units up to here. Okay, and now uh, this is not a line, it's just the paper I folded in half. So now from this point you go four, four. Four, so that should be twelve, thirteen. So, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen units from this point. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13. Okay. So it's here. Now we go T and it's up. Like that. Now uh, four units down. And Two, four, six units up. Well, oh, so we did something wrong. I think two, four. Ah, it's, it's correct. Not six, but seven. Okay, I was confused with these things. So we have something like that. Sorry about that. So, oh, I'm sorry about that. It's my leg. Okay. So now let's just repeat the same thing here. I know quite a lot to repeat, but so here. Come on, dog. Shut up. So from this point, we count two units. Then we go uh, two units down. Okay, then we go four up. Okay, then we go three to the left and we go up as well. And then we have two two again and think two again yeah two again and then go four units up then you go um, two up then you go one left and then again one left, well one right actually, well just go up and uh, we have three units like this and then we have two up and then just a straight line to the left and we go up like this 
So I hope you just check if we did everything correctly. Here's the symmetry line. So two, four, six, two, four, six, yeah, that's correct. So now let's do this part here. So from this point you just draw a straight line, which is 45 degrees. And then let's draw the line there. Okay, like this. So now we come two units up. One, two. Okay, and now we have the line that's 13 units, if I remember correctly. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Here is 13. And now we go two units up. Now four units down. This and now it's just a straight line. I mean straight line, it's forty five degree line. You just make it it hits the edge. Okay, and that's two, four, six, seven minutes. Okay, so great. Now we re repeated what we've done. Okay, so let me see what's the next part. Next part. Okay, so now we need to do the Now we need to do the head. As you can see from this point you count one unit and then you do these things. So that's exactly what are we going to do first. Um, hmm. You see that that crease better. Here I'm missing one crease. Okay, so. Uh, we are here. So we count one unit from this line. So just count one unit and then make two unit line. Do it again. Well, actually, just make a square. Like this. Okay. And now we go two units up. This you just continue that square shape and have two like this. So you make like a little heart shape here. Okay, so now you let me see from this point. You count one unit up, so you're here, and then make just a straight line. Oh, well, actually, you make a line from this point. So that one's five units. Like this, and then you go and make something like this. Well, actually, you don't really need to pre-crease those, but um, I'll just draw the cre those creases anyway, so you just do that, and from this point, you can, you can already continue on the other side, so from this, you draw the line, and then go one down, and uh, make this heart shape again. Well, you can also look on this side, just make like a mirror version of that. So, so you don't need to look at the crease pattern all the time. Well, like here, you can already continue with this line like that. And you already know that you have a square here. So, like this. Like that, and then just end that heart shape there. Let me see if we missed any line. 
Uh, we, missed, we missed a couple of them, but... Uh, well, okay, let's pre-grease them anyway. So... Those things don't... Well, actually, no, we don't need to pre-grease them. Only thing left to pre-grease is this. Uh, those diamonds. Everything else is done. Because if you look here, the grease pattern... You see these little squares. Now, those are just folded inside, so I don't think you should pick with them. And it was the same thing for this, but I pick with those anyway. Well, uh, okay. Look, I'm just going to draw the squares up here. You don't need to do that. Because uh, I'm not going to fold them. Anyway, so. But just for tutorial, I'll make those creases. Okay. So on this side they are done, and here. Okay, something like that. Then we also have like a little things here. But I'm not going to do those. But let's just zoom out and see what we have. So now we need to break raise those. Uh, diamond things and let's see where are they here where we have like a tree in it so that's here oh yeah okay so the reference for this is actually one half because if you pull the paper in half like this it will be here So let's zoom in. So here is the half. You also need to find like a symmetry line, which is here. It goes like that. Here's the center point. I can already see that because of the diagonal that I've made before. Um, okay, so from that point, you count one unit to the left. So we are here. And now draw the squares like this. Like that. Like that. And then you make something like this. Okay. Now just count from this point one to the right. And do the same thing. I must say I like this grease pattern because it doesn't uh, take so much time to pre-grease. Yeah, we are done with pre-greasing. Well, no, actually no. We are draw done with drawing the creases, now we need to fold them. Um, I'm going to see if creases can be seen from behind. No, they can't. Okay, so I showed you this method in the last video as well. It's uh, it's okay method for pre -creasing. I'm not sure if like a really the best method to do it, but it saves you a lot of time. So here's the way you do it. For example, we need a crease here. Now I like to make all the creases mountain fold. So you just you know put your fingers like this and then bring the paper up and just make the crease like this. So I'll finish a couple of those to show you what I mean like that but this way you do them a lot faster and it might not be the cleanest way but it works pretty well I think this is how I pre-creased most of the creases and they're using 3.5 so that's this way, but you can also do it like I turn around the paper and then just find the crease then you see we have a crease here so then just fold like that and uh, make a crease here you can do it that way or you can do it the way I showed you now the the way you know, the, I'm going to pre-crease all the middle creases um, the way I showed you, but here for example legs and, and on the sides I'm going to do it the, the other way so now let's start doing that so I'm going to do the hearts the same way so like 
like this. So all the creases that are in the middle, I'm going to do them this way. So that. We have this. And that now my hair might get in this video. So sorry about that. So we have this and uh, um, what I meant, my middle creases are those things here. So I'm going to do them this way. So we have this crease, and then we have this. Now if you're using foil paper, you might want to do them, those things the other way. Because you get a cleaner result for sure. Units and then we have this crease. And uh, just then you see this parts here, you can just fold this like that and then fold it behind. And then just make it crease like this and then you, pre you crease all of them automatically. Okay, so um, on this side, so you have this crease. I think it takes more time to draw those creases than to actually crease them. Okay, so here's the same thing. There. Okay, that we have. No, we don't. We are not going to do this one, but we're going to do that one. And uh, we got this piece. No, but this little parts, they are done the same way as the thing I showed you on the bottom. Oh, look, I didn't actually pre crease those. Okay, so they're done the same way as on the bottom. I fold much of those crease, regular mountain and valley pleats, and then just fold over them and then it, that way you automatically create these creases. Uh, okay, as you can see. So now yeah we can do those middle things. Actually they are all going to be valley folds, now I'm making them mountain folds, but uh, this is corrupt, so it doesn't really matter if it's a wally or not fold. So I'm going to do them this way anyway. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, we need to do legs, 
so I told you I'm going to turn around on the other side and then you know fold over the paper find you see now the grease is here so I'm just going to find where the grease is and then place them this way you can also do do them do these things the with a pinching way. A few more lines here. I'm going to do them this way. Um, so just fold that over. Okay, so guess what? We're finished pre greasing and now it's for real. Uh, as you can see, it looks well cool, at least in my opinion. Um, so now we are done with this part of the tutorial. Uh, so the next part is holding the base, and that is going to be tricky, but. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to explain to you how to collapse the base. <laughs> 